that. So the first one is a you regularly you regularly bleh, make new friends. No, I don't. <laughs> I I do online in real life. It is so hard for me. I I can't even speak anymore. That's how bad it is. I just do sign language now. Oh my god, why? No, no, no. Not necessarily. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I do. Uh, I, uh, I got into drawing a lot of manga art and stuff, doing gacha art, animating in general and in this, so yeah, I think I do. I even do sewing. Not anymore, I used to a lot though. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Uh... Strongly agree. <laughs> you have to make a backup plan for a backup plan. Uh... I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, uh... uh I kinda, uh... Emotionally I read the room and if some people are crying, I either sit there and just zone out and do nothing, or I, I, I also start to try and kind of cry. You usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. Oh. Fuck no. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. I, I'm... Uh, I get stressed easily and uh, things get harder for me. So, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to meet new people. To new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yes. 100% <laughs> at parties and everything, even though I've rarely been to parties ever. So, yeah. You prefer to completely finish one project before start another. Nope. I have motivation and then I don't. You're very sentimental. What does that mean? Yeah, I guess. You like to. You like to or use organizing tools like schedules and lists. New. No. <laughs> Even a small mistake can cause you doubt your over you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yes, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that happens a lot. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Online, yes, so neutral. I realize I wouldn't even dare. <laughs> I would not dare. You're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. I don't really understand that. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. M mostly, yeah. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Neutral. <laughs> you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. No. <laughs> I care a lot. Uh... You enjoy participating in group activities. Actually, yes I do. I do a lot, yes. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Yes. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Neutral, I don't know. You're interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Yes. You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Yes. Always. Constant. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. I, I don't know anymore. You're definitely not an artistic type of person. Excuse me, I disagree. <laughs> you think the world would be be a better place if people wield more rationality and less on their feelings? Not exactly. We need both of those to have level ground, you know. So, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. <laughs> As if you which laugh. As if you enjoy watching people argue. Am I allowed to be honest? <laughs> this is gonna make me seem like an asshole. Sorry for starting again. Neutral. <laughs> you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I like being on the stage, but neutral. <laughs> what? Your mood can change very quickly. Eh, kinda. 
You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Not necessarily, I just wait. I'm kind of patient about it. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. No, I, I like to do it midway, say. Per se. You've always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death? Yes. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Yeah. Uh, being alone sucks. Sorry, I don't. I don't like it at all. It, it feels cold and alone. So, you become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Not at all. People talking about different theories is actually a good thing for me. You find it easy to empathize with the person who's experienced a very different. Emotion. No. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. I don't know. You really second guess the choices that you've made. No. <laughs> I always think about it. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. It depends how I feel and depends what happens. I literally went to an art museum two days ago. Yeah, very uncomfortable, but so many art nerds, it's cool. It's very silent and hollow. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Yeah, a lot. You like to have a to-do list for each day. I kind of just plan it and then do whatever. You rarely feel insecure. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you avoid making phone calls. It doesn't bother me as much. Uh, Sniper, if you're here, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> uh, I was on a phone call yesterday and, uh, Sniper, uh, if you don't follow him, he has a Twitch channel, it's Sniper. Uh, uh, he heard me being all normal, sounding and polite, and then he said, The fuck? He was like, The fuck? He said I sound like a puppy. <laughs> I don't sound like a puppy. <laughs> Why? I don't. Honest. I don't. I don't sound like a puppy. <laughs> Okay, when I'm on phone. You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. I, I may come across that I want to understand, and I do, but it's not as bad as I probably make it seem. But I do want to understand certain people for their certain views. In your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Uh, sort of. Yeah, depends. If your plans are to drop, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> You're so bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Yes. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. I don't really care about it. You make your own meaning to life. The emotions control you more than you control them. Oh. Yeah. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it is completely their fault. I'm just gonna go neutral on that one. Let's not open that can of worms, shall we? Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organizing consistent efforts. Yes. <laughs> when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Yes. <laughs> you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. No, I love people. I love being around people. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Not necessarily. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmosphere than quiet places. Depends how much. You know, at first glance, has some nice feeling. No, that is difficult for me to understand. <laughs> Seriously, though, I, I yeah, I, I can't understand people very well. I, I want to. I really do. It kind of frustrates me that I can't sometimes. You often feel overwhelmed. It depends. You can bleed things methodically without skipping over any steps. Most likely, yeah. You're very intrigued by things labelled as controversial. What does controversial mean? I'm just gonna put neutral on that. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yeah. That's stupid, but yeah. You struggle with deadlines. 
Not really, but mostly my own, yeah. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Neutral. Right, just a moment. I think I finished. Oh. <laughs> Your personality type is logician. Logician? Int INTP T. This trait determines how. Uh, mind, this trait determines how we interact with our environment. You're 48% extroverted and 52% introverted. Energy, the trait shows where we directed our mental energy. 59% intuitive and 41% observant. Nature, this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. 55% thinking. Uh, that makes me sound horrible. <laughs> uh. Tactics. This trait reflects our approach to work, planning and decision making. 34% judging. 63% prospecting. Identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. 21% assertive, assertive and 17% turbulent. Eh? Eh? This doesn't sound much like me. I don't know though. Oh god, I have more results.